see you playing under Shaka Smart over the last 10 minutes of the second half last night. Mountaineers in the white uniforms controlled the opening tip with Deuce McBride running the show for Bob Huggins. He's guarded by a freshman, Adrian Ace Baldwin. That ball goes out of bounds, but 882 career wins. That's sixth all time. And what I love about Huggins, with all the greats, Cincinnati was awful. He takes him to the Final Four in 92. Then Kansas State is winning. Well, you got to look at the all-time list because he is now. He has four starters back. Seven of their ten in the rotation are upperclassmen, and eight of them averaged 13 or more minutes a game last year. As for Mike Rhodes and VCU, they are young and inexperienced. Eight freshmen and sophomores, only two seniors on Mike Rhodes' roster. One of them has the ball right now. That's Levi Stocker, the transfer from Kansas State. And a replay in the G League. Pull up jumper, no good. And Baldwin clears and runs the show. A freshman running point for VCU this year. Here's Corey Douglas, top of the key, off on the three and the rebound. Another attempt, off the mark. Offensive rebound, Culver puts it back up, and Derek Culver. Fierce, a team going to the backboard as I think I've ever seen in college basketball. Oh, who are going to be able to contend with uh, Derek Culver and an Oscar Shibwe at the same time. Yeah, and you know, the it's pretty good defense. Another missed shot, and this time the VCU Rams come away with it. That's Keyshawn Curry coming up and trying to go coast to coast, but getting rejected again, but, and kicks it back out. Culver the spin move, and he can't get it to go. And Derek Culver with the left hand. Remember, Rhodes going to be playing a lot of freshmen, especially in the early part of this season. Nice feed. Culver back on the floor, and he's got his second feed. I think that VCU is doing neither. Shigwe had an easy look and missed it, despite getting the offense. You get it around the bucket, your best jump. Try to put two hands on the backboard, and that solves a little bit of it. But it, it's frustrating. Got to be frustrating for the staff to watch the, the bigs in West Virginia miss layup after layup. West Virginia had the 13th worst three-point field goal percentage in the nation last year. That one is up and in, and Derek's dominating this contest. Well, he's just bigger and stronger. I mean, that's just it. He just went right through the defender ward and had no chance. A couple of years ago, Derek Culver had a pair of 20.20 rebound games as a freshman. I could see it. Yeah. Good playing yeah. Kansas. Um, I think Villanova, you know, they struggled yesterday. But again, we're, we're talking about opening night and Boston just hurt them right now. Look, they're not in an offense right now. Yeah. That was not what you would call an offensive set. No. But again, Mark, again, back-to-back -back buckets for Jimmy Trey Clark. This is where I really believe, you know, that's a great play by yeah. Culver, but the, the, the run here. And Culver completes the three-point, and he's got it. I'm telling you, making Shibwe play out on the top of the key, he doesn't have great lateral quickness. So you get him in a ball screen on top, make him play a couple things. Ooh, Culver. Man. Has been wow. a revelation thing. I think you'll see West Virginia get in a stance, try to keep the ball on the side. And you'll see VCU try to muck it up a little bit with some Mike Rhodes style havoc. If you're just tuning in, VCU is in the gold uniforms. They start with the ball to start this second half. Here's Levi Stocker off the mark. Culver the rebound. Under the tutelage of Bruce Weber, not getting a lot of playing time in Manhattan, Kansas, and decided to pass, but just running the floor gets you buckets when you're Corey Douglas. Here's another turnover. Rick Barnes calls that the shoot, right? Run the shoot. He used to call it Main Street. Run Main, Main Street. Street. Run right to you, Rams. Still within shouting distance. Back to back missed threes, but Culver comes away with it again. And can't finish from close range. He'll go to the line instead. The VCU Rams. Still within shouting distance. 
Back-to-back -back missed threes, but Culver comes away with it again. And can't finish from close range. He'll go to the line instead. You can use that to your advantage. You draw the help side. You kick it to the shooter. And you got a great loss. Virginia fans can now bring your hate away from me to Ritz when he misses this one. Well, there we go. Yeah. McNeil. Man. Culver got it back. Culver off the window. And just the better than him around the basket. I that agree. looked comfortable. I agree. Stockard lost the handle. And it's blocked by Shibwe. And to you, full court press. Out of a make. Apologies to Elon University. I said Elon College. Awful. Elon University, one of America's most beautiful universities. Would that be would that be assistant coach Andrew Dockage letting you know about that? No, it was not. It was <laughs> another friend of Williams right ahead of him. And Roy won yesterday, and Roy's going to keep winning. So uh, it's like a golf leaderboard. It's not how many how many strokes back you are from the leader. It's how many guys you got to leapfrog over. Right. It's fluid. And Roy Williams, I talked to him last week. I I would bet you anything. North Carolina has a pretty good year. Like yeah. last in the ACC has been his entire time. Yeah, and as tough a year as they had last year, Garrison Brooks is back and getting a lot of love on the... But if you want to be... If you want to sit at the big table, here's my list. You got to win at North Carolina. Garza, terrific. He gets... Picks it off. And another errant pass by Sherman, but Culver's there to pick up... The